Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we're going to be discussing some of the evolutions in automation. Now, Ash is doing an absolutely unbelievable job with the automation of components, automation within the UK is finally being adopted. But today we want to look at some of the latest innovations that you're supplying from Hydrofeed, and that includes the tower. Yes, yeah, so the, as you say, the tower is the next step in, in a future of automation, it allows not only for workpiece handling, but pallet handling, scheduling of parts. So 10 of this, 20 of that. Um, and uh, it, yeah, it's a fantastic product that you continually feed and continually take parts from. Now, not only is it automating the components as we've said, but you can also automate the setups of the machine tool. It enables you to do that too, doesn't it? Exactly, that, and that's what I mean by a, a scheduler. So you, you'll tell the system what you've got on each level of the tower, uh, and then you, you correlate that to the machine tool program. And in each level of the tower, which you'll be able to show us in a little bit more detail shortly, do you have a pallet full of components, or do you have a complete kit which includes the components and the work holding for that particular job? both so uh, for example so, so, so the pallet itself so as you saw in the video you've got work pieces nested in uh, a, a grid plate of sorts but the basics of the tower is 4.6 meters tall very small footprint but the but you've got a side for loading for the man and a side for loading unload for the robot so you can access um, your finished parts whilst the robot is still running so that the tower enables within each level, you can have mixes and matches of parts, but you can also do things like changes of robot head. And you may have uh, pallets of vices for a, a milling example as well. With, with, with the configuration, you say it's 4.6 meters in height. I've got a few questions. If the factory building was not as high as that, or say for example, how the actual pallets are configured, could you have larger gaps, less pallets? Yeah, uh, exactly. So we do a 3.2 meter version as well um, with, with less levels, but uh, the, the height between the, each layer, uh, you can have a taller part to go in each, but it, obviously it just means the level above, you wouldn't have. You lose a, a level. You would. So effectively to push through with the tower, the tower enables um, things like multiple loading of machine tools. So the, 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 so the software and scheduler is able for us to do that as well. So it, it's optimizing small footprints. It's about enabling back to back. So you can, you can actually use towers in, together. So if it doesn't quite give you the capacity or if you wanna put more into it. And again, these boxes symbolize uh, CMMs, metrology to encompass the whole, whole, um, whole installation. We've talked about stable processes in the past. Now, if you're palletizing the setup through zero point, you're achieving the, the optimum stable process, but also it's giving you that flexibility. When we talk about um, low mix work, lower volume work, um, to be able to accommodate for that by changing the setup. You know, the man is not even needed now to change mm. the setup. So mm. it, isn't this the um, optimal kind of automation solution? Oh, definitely. It's, it's, it's the future of machining. I, I fully believe that. And as you say, it, it takes away a lot of the setup times. And the particular customers, customers we see with the tower system, they either make their own components, but they've got a bit of foresight and planning into their, uh, into their production. Now, it's certainly a brilliant kind of um, solution from RoboJob and I was fortunate enough to be in Belgium with you um, and look at this. I don't know if we can get the video up again now just to have a look at look at the product um, in action but it's so simple isn't it? Yeah I mean each, each drawer is driven um, that allows the access to both sides of the tower itself uh, and you set up your grid plates to suit each so some of the fundamentals are still there like an air blow on the vice uh, and if it's turning or milling, but also we can sit it between two machines as well. So there's a lot of similar principles. Ash, you, you, you've mentioned about the work holding. Um, now, obviously, work holding for automation either needs to be pneumatic or hydraulic. Um, so how do you palletize that within the tower? So uh, the feed that goes through either the pallet or you can actually fix your workpiece into a, um, a manual vice. So there's a, obviously a, a, quite a big difference between workpiece handling and pallet handling. Generally, pallet handling is a lot more expensive because you need multiple pallets of multiple sizes to hold multiple parts. Whereas if you're workpiece holding, you just need sets of grippers. So there's a, uh, 
an argument between what's best for what application, um, but it, generally we take them case by case. So, I mean, for me, looking at this solution, it's a solution that maybe, you know, is embraced a little bit further down the line. I think that automation is now finally being embraced, and this is really taking it to that next level, isn't it? Definitely, yeah, definitely. Ashley, how should people get in touch if they have taken it to that level, um, if they, they do need this within their facility? I mean, the, the footprint is really clever, you know, utilising the height rather than the floor space. Um, how should they get in touch? What kind of questions would you ask them in regards to the parts that they're making and how will you solve their problem? Yeah, so the tower again is, is we, we can do almost everything on it. So it's the high mix, low volume, medium volumes, but also high volume. So the, the tower will store an awful lot of material. So if you're looking at increasing production or if you're looking at being more efficient, come and talk to us, come and give us a call at Hydrofeed and we'll, we'll ask you questions like, what are you hoping to achieve from the automation? Because it's pointless putting a big tower system on a 12 station turret that can that has to be you have to intervene every 20 or 30 parts onto the actual machine tool so the machine generally we see complements the tower itself so the machine's capable of a stable process of sister tooling uh, swarf management tool life and keeping that machine running so it, it's about complementing each other so you, you it's good to put the tower onto something which complements it as well Ashley, absolutely fantastic solution from Hydrofeed in the UK. If you're looking to take automation to a different level, contact Hydrofeed.